If you are thinking of buying Shagaf Ud Tonka or Shagaf Ud Ama, at the end of this video, if I do my job well, then you should be able to determine exactly which one of them you want or if you want to actually buy both of them. What's up you guys? This is your wing lady and I'm back today with another beautiful video. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Wing lady is doing great. I feel good today. I feel especially good today. I don't know why, but I just feel good. So the ones we are dealing with today is Shagaf Ud Tonka and Shagaf Ud Ama. The one in the green bottle and the one in the red bottle. I have decants of both and I've had this for almost a month now so I can tell you exactly how they smell. Let's start with Shagaf Ud Tonka. Now for Shagaf Ud Tonka, I've spoken about it before but I haven't actually brought you a full review. So for Shagaf Ud Tonka, it's a lovely vanilla scent. Oh my God, it drives me crazy sometimes. As soon as I smelt it, I knew right away that I wanted a full bottle. Maybe someday soon, I might actually get a full bottle of Shagaf Ud Tonka. But if you're a gourmand lover, if you're a person that likes to smell like sweet, almondy, vanilla and tonka bean, you would absolutely love Shagaf Ud Tonka. It smells creamy, it smells vanillic, it smells elegant. It is soft yet strong. It is soft in that the scent itself is not overpowering. The scent itself is not cloying. The scent itself is not going to give you a headache, but it lasts so, so long. It's one of the most long lasting Arabian perfumes I've ever tried. When I spread it on me from morning till night, I could still catch whiffs of it. And I was wondering, how a soft fragrance could smell so strongly and that's just one of the magic of this particular fragrance because how can it be soft yet so powerful at the same time it smells rich there's actually a thing about how rich people laugh they say rich people laugh very elegantly very softly like ha 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 Shagaf Utonka smells like that laugh, like ha ha ha. It's the kind of fragrance that you would expect to smell when you walk into a room full of rich people and they are just talking, laughing, just being rich. For the notes of Shagaf Utonka, the top note is almond. It only has one note at the top and that is almond and it smells so beautiful guys. The almond smells like creamy almond milk. Then the heart notes are cinnamon, Tunisian orange blossom, and Turkish rose. Then the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and amberwood. Now, the tonka bean, the vanilla, and the almonds are the major players of this perfume. It smells sweet, creamy, elegant, beautiful, delectable, high class. This is a kind of perfume that you spray on when you want to go to a gathering of respectable people, respectable individuals. If you layer Shagaf Utonka with Sondos by Latafa, you're going to be smelling like the most elegant lady there. It's beautiful, you guys. If you're thinking about buying it, if you're a gourmand lover and you like things that smell almondy, creamy, milky, vanillic, you would absolutely love Shagafu Tonka. It's, it's stunning. It's one of the most beautiful scents I have ever smelled. As for the lasting power, on skin, it will give you six hours on your skin. It will definitely give you up to six hours on your skin. Pushing it, depending on how moisturized your skin is, because personally, I have dry skin, but it will give you six to eight hours on your skin. And on your clothes, it will last you 24 hours and above. It will last you the entire day. It will stay on your clothes. It's not one of those fragrances that disappears into thin air. It's not war three. It's thick, it's dense, it's rich. It will definitely stay on you for the entire day. On your clothes, it will stay. If you if you want to get the best out of this fragrance, spray it down on your clothes. Then the next morning, just top up. You're gonna be smelling of it for weeks because it just holds on to clothes. It just sticks onto clothes and it's, it's perfect you guys gourmand lovers don't miss shagaf utonka if you really like that kind of thing you would love it now we'll move on to the second one which is shagaf ud ama for shagaf ud ama i got a decant as well and i have been with it the same time i bought um shagaf utonka and this one is just a sweet fruity baby girl perfume if you're that kind of person that likes delicious fragrances, but not like vanilla, you know, not that kind of creamy vanilla fragrance, delicious, but juicy, fruity, fresh, sweet. If it's going that route, if you're that kind of person, which I am, you would love Shagaf Ud Ama. The one thing about Shagaf Ud Ama is that if you are a fruit lover, if you're a fruity perfume lover, 
you would be happy they cater to you in this particular perfume i can smell all sorts of fruits i can smell like apples i can smell like berries i can smell like melons in shaga food armor all the fruity notes at the top they are doing the most when it dries down it dries down into an exquisite floral fruity fragrance it smells a bit like sublime by latafa probably because of the fruity notes because sublime by latafa has this fresh crispy apple smell i think this has apples in it as well if you love fruity fresh fragrances you would absolutely adore this it is intensely sweet for the notes of shagaf udama at the top you have peach melon bergamot freesia and iris this is what is giving it that fresh sweetness it is intensely sweet at the top sweet and fresh very fresh then for the heart you have amber apple rose and tonka bean i knew there has to be apple in there because it smells similar to body al oud sublime by latafa and if you know body al oud sublime that apple in there is absolutely ah juicy fruity as soon as you smell it you just almost taste the apple and it's gorgeous then the base notes are amber vanilla musk sandalwood cedar and oud when i tell you i don't smell any of these base notes i don't smell the oud the cedar the vanilla the amber or the musk the base note is not really doing a lot it doesn't come to it even when it dries down you still can't smell these base notes what you can smell are the top notes and the heart notes they are what are doing the most in this fragrance they are what is holding on the perfume to make it be exactly what it is a fruity floral fresh juicy sweet fragrance so if you like that kind of vibe you can go for this one if you're a gourmand lover you will like this as well because i think gourmand is different is divided into different categories okay you can be gourmand and only like vanilla scent you can like gourmand and only like fruity scent you know you can be gourmand and like just sweet scents like fragrances that just smell like candy or sweet so both of these perfumes actually fall into the gourmand category because both of them actually smell like food this one straight up smells like fruit juice to me sweet fruit juice very fresh and sweet and as for shagaf utonka that one smells creamy vanillic almondy so if you like to smell delicious to smell like fruity sweety fruity sweet goodness both of them will work for you but you can either choose to be juicy fruity fresh or vanillic creamy sweet almondy as for the lasting power of shagaf food armor it doesn't last as well as shagaf utonka i don't know why it doesn't last as well as shaga food tonka shaga food armor on your skin it will give you five to six hours five to six hours on skin and on the clothes that it does a full day it's gone it only gives you a full a whole day of wear like 18 to 24 hours on your clothes and that's it by the second day you can't really find it anymore on your clothes it's that kind of fruity sweet scent that we love but we can't really hang on to because it just fades away so fast and so easily I wish it lasted a lot longer if you want a layer i'd say layer shagaf ud tonka with more vanilla creamy scents and then layer shagaf ud ama with more fruity florals then it's gonna work that way thank you so much for watching this video until the very end if you enjoyed it please like the video like it like it like it and then subscribe to my channel for more of me and until next time you guys i love you so much mwah, mwah, mwah. ciao